Hey everyone, I've decided I'm going to finish this off with pallets. What I've done is I've taken the boards off in here and used them as trim boards. They're a little bit thicker than the regular boards and you see I'm just going to side that right in. I still have to put my trim piece out here. I just wanted to see if I just wanted to see if this would work. It seems to be working fine, so I'll get that corner trimmed up and then maybe we can finish it. I don't know if we'll finish it tonight or tomorrow, but we'll get it done anyway. Okay, so I picked up three more pallets today. And over here, we're actually going to change this, the way I'm putting the boards on. Uh, we're going to run them up and down instead of sideways because the pallets the way the pallets are set in there uh, there's gaps between the boards obviously and because there's gaps between the boards if you do them horizontal like this instead of vertical then there's going to be spots that I'm not going to be able to nail it in there and actually that second board is where I ran into that so I'm going to put a trim board across and then we're going to do everything straight up and down okay so I have my basic frame up now I'm not going to put a trim board on the uh, on the bottom because I want the water to be able to run right down into the ground so we're already start filling in the side pieces and I have some uh, pallet boards here. Now I did switch the screws on these particular pieces because you can see it was starting to split from hammering on it. With a cardboard it just made it a little shaky so I just decided to use screws there. We'll see what happens with the uprights. And what I did was I cut this I cut this upright to length and what I did was I made it a little short so there so it's not sitting on the ground in the water it'll help it last longer so what I'm going to do is I'll probably dig this out a little bit and I'm going to cut all the pieces all the way across they should all be basically the same length all the way over to here and then I'll custom cut these pieces and that plastic I'm just going to leave that plastic right in there something else I'm doing is I'm looking for splits like up here we have a split so I'm going to cut this end off and keep the better end the other thing I'm doing is I'm keeping the same piece of wood as my template so that they're all cut off in the same one so it doesn't get longer or shorter by uh, using a different one the different time. So that's my template piece and that will be the last one I cut. So I almost have enough cut. I just have to pull a few more boards off the pallets. I use this. It's called a wonder bar because I don't have a pallet pal or anything like that yet and a hammer that's my tools to take the pallets apart have to be real careful not to split the boards but you know how it goes sometimes they split sometimes they don't and where I'm doing shorter stuff if an end splits on one of them I can still use it this is going to be my next victim right here so uh, you can see some of these are already split so we'll just do the best we can and get the boards up there and get them going. Sometimes I just lift them a little ways and then hit them, knock them back down, puts the uh, heads up a little bit, and then I use the wonder bar to pull the nails out and then I move to the next set. And here is the before and after. Okay, so what we'll be doing here is all the short panels that I need to do the face of the uh, coal frame. We're just going to trim it right along here, and there'll be the right length. I'm just pry them up, and the ones that I need to, then 
I'll use the Wonder Bar. But other than that, it's grab it and growl. Once I do that, I just set it underneath, rock it back and forth. Obviously trying to do it without breaking them. And then get the nails out later. There's a lot less squidage on the end when you do it this way. Still get some, but this one is pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is take the nails out and we'll be finished. Now what I do this probably more than uh more than me does it, but a lot of these will just come right out. Uh, but if they don't, I just take the hammer and I just tap it, and that'll pull them out. I save these, sometimes I'll reuse them, sometimes they go to the junkyard. So, how I've been attaching these is I've got these three inch screws for the friend. Screwing them right to the kind of adjusting adjusting them as I go so they're kind of flat. One of the things that I do is I step back every once in a while to make sure that the um, the boards are straight up and down because I'm not using a level. I figure with this stuff it'd be pretty much a waste of time. Some of these are pretty crooked so we just do it by eye. It's a coal frame. As long as it looks decent and the landlord, landlord is happy, I'm happy. So we're getting very close to finishing the front. So let's finish up. So here's a reminder of what it looked like, and here we are finished, and what a fantastic project for only having $50 in this. I mean, most of the material is absolutely free. I mean, I hope you can find a spot to build one of these so you can grow your own food this winter. Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Rhode Island, and I thought that I would uh, go over the coal frame a little bit and show you, I had two plants in there, I believe they're in my uh, coal frame video, building out of pallets. Just to show you how it's holding up, it's January 17th today. It is a beautiful day. As you can see, this right here is not fitting quite the way it should. So, I'll be uh, extending this piece out. The plants are doing pretty well. There's no heat in this whatsoever. This is just the heat generated from the coal frame. So I'm pretty happy with that. So as you can see, there's new growth coming out, which I'm really excited about that, since there is no heat in here. Had a few leaves fall off, I picked a few off, but you can see new growth. Plants look pretty healthy. I have not been harvesting these for food, I just want to see what they do for the winter and how the coal frame is working so far. I'm really happy with it. 